Hi, hello, and good afternoon! Welcome to episode 7 of Andre's Revved Up Reviews. <laughs> now, before I, before I start breaking into the movies I gotta review, I got some things to tell you. And you guys heard about that David Sterling thing? No, that Donald Sterling thing? About that the racist comment about black... The Clippers being on a... Well, you get the picture. Well, guess what? Breaking news. Donald Sterling is officially banned for life. That's right. Banned for life. First Pete Rose is banned from baseball. Now, now look at him. Donald Sterling has been banned from the NBA for life. And get this. He's been fined $2.5 million. I hope that teaches you a lesson about racism. Don't offend... Don't call, don't offend us. We'll offend you. Now, I have three incredible movies to show you guys. Two of them are comedies, one is a biopic. So to start it off, I thought I'd review with one of my favorite superhero flicks, which I totally enjoyed as a kid. And no, I'm not talking about Batman, I'm not talking about Superman, I'm not talking about any other superhero. But get this, another superhero movie from the ghetto. <laughs> now, if you guys are a big fan of In Living Color and, you know, superheroes, you're going to like this movie. This is Blank Man. And this movie features Damon Wayans from In Living Color, Major Pain, My Wife and Kids, and David Allen Greer, who was also in... Who's also his co-star in Blank Man. And he's also been the co-star in the movie, um... You know, that one movie. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Both of these guys are from In Living Color, and both have worked with each other ever since. And this movie features Robin Givens. Now, what I like about this movie is so many hilarious moments in this one. Because this is... A heartfelt comedy that's falling down funny. <laughs> now, of course, uh, Daryl, his character, seen all sorts of crime and things happen, and, well, for some strange reason, Michael the Suitmanelli hired some guy to kill his grandmother. So he puts on this ridiculous suit that is similar to Batman of some sort. And he's got all sorts of funny looking gadgets. He got a stink bomb, a radio belt, the electric nunchucks, and and there and boy, those gadgets are cool. Even even Bruce Wayne could endorse them. Now I have seen this every year in 1994, and this is actually a funny flick. Hilarious scenes in this one. And and it's just downright funny to me. <laughs> so if I had to give this movie a review, I would give Blank Man a 3 out of 5. It's okay if you don't have to like the movie. I understand. It's okay if you if you like the movie. I, I totally understand. This is actually a hilarious flick. If you have this in your collection, watch it now. If you don't, Go to any DVD store that carries one of these. It's hilarious. Next up, for all you fans that are a big fan of cop films, either it's small cops, dirty cops, or evil cops, this is actually a second mall cop movie, which is not Paul Blart Mall Cop. This is actually a darker, funnier side of Paul Blart. This is Observe and Report, and I've seen this movie in the theaters, you know, I gotta tell you, this, this actually has some of the most funny, perverted, sexiest moments in this one, and a Ferris may I ring a bell, and this is a, seriously a crazy ass film, and it's spectacularly funny, because Seth Rogen plays a cop who 
plays a mall cop who wants to be a real cop because he's seen lots of crazy things in the mall. And he's trying to catch this perv that's flashing his penis all over mall parking lots. He even frightens Anna Ferris. Oh, and, uh, and there's another detective that's trying to take the whole case out of here, and that's Ray Liotta. I happen to give major props to Ray Liotta, because, man, you, you really, mm, I'm telling you, he's the best actor. The best. And this is probably the best movie, because this features, um, lots of funny scenes. The Asian twins, not so much of the Bella twins. Even and even though this doesn't have any, doesn't have any special features, you can get the Blu-ray one, but you can get this one just in case if you want to watch it with your friends. And uh, the one thing I like about this movie, Anna Faris, a blonde with not almost big tits. It's that one sex scene in bed. Oh my god, if she was, she was drunk, she passed out, I'd still hit it. And if I had to give this movie a rating, I would give this one a 3.5 out of 5. And for all you fans that are big fans of football and biopic movies and sports movies, you might want to get your hands on this. The Express. And this is a story about... This is inspired by a true story about Ernie Davis becoming the first black running back to win a Heisman Trophy. And this actually sets a lot of boundaries. It's a story about Ernie Davis who wants to be known to the public as a black running back because he wants to follow in the footsteps of his idol um, Jim Brown. So he goes to Sy Syracuse and the next thing you know he's wow I gotta give props for Rob Brown's portrayal of the late great Ernie Davis. Sure there's racism, uh, sports, inspirational moments, a lot. You can expect a lot of this, but one of my favorite scenes in this one is the is the Cotton Bowl game between Syracuse and Texas. There's a lot of racial bigotry there. There's a lot of physical fighting going on. A lot of that. But that scene took me away. And the sad part is that at, in the end of the movie, Ernie Davis is diagnosed with leukemia. And that one scene where he's walking into Cleveland Brown Stadium. Touch my heart. This is actually a great movie if you're into college movie, college sports movies. Uh, football movies, sports movies, biopics, whatever you choose. I'm giving this one a 4.5 out of 5. Oh, and by the way, Dennis Quaid's portrayal of... Wow. I like his performance, too, but I gotta give props to Rob Brown. Oh, spoiler alert. Nelson Ellis is in it. Lafayette from True Blood. Anyway, I'm going to give this movie a 4 out of 5. No, 4.5 out of 5. There you have it. Two movies, a biopic. I reviewed them. Both of them got... Both comedy flicks got 3 and a 3.5. One movie got a 4.5. Stay tuned for next week's episode where I'm going to review some more movies. So make sure you keep that in touch. Well, I gotta go now, because, uh, as you see, I'm gonna be watching Roll Bounce right now. So, peace!